can see Molstar trying to eat some leaves, which is the cutest thing. <laughs> yes, you are the cutest thing. Today is 4th of July and we had some plans and some things we wanted to do for today. It's been a jam-packed weekend for us, but something happened and I doubted if I should share it in the channel or not, but then I reminded myself that it's part of farming, it's part of homesteading, and it's part of raising dairy animals, selling baby animals, and overall having baby goats in this case. Because one second he was just fine, and the next he was gone. I feel like I won't be able to tell you the whole story because I don't know what really happened but I'm gonna try to keep it together and give you the facts and tell you what I know. Last week I was having this recurring, I don't want to say nightmare but almost like a dream where I was regretting something and it was coming back like almost every other day and I haven't been having any kind of nightmares for a really long time. And what I mean by this kind of nightmare is that there was this one specific baby goat that was coming back in that nightmare. Like it was always the same baby goat that was coming back to me and I in the beginning I didn't want to pay too much attention to it and I really didn't want to think too much about it but then a couple of days ago I decided to contact the new owner of Clara's boys if you remember they went together uh, I call them the three musketeers and the one thing I didn't want to do at that point was to sell one of them and if you remember it was Mr. Black and he was the one that was coming in my dream constantly and throughout the day for whatever reason I was doing something and nothing goat related and he would come to mind and so a couple of days ago I decided to contact the new owner and she didn't reply to me immediately then the next day she did and in the beginning she you know just sent a few pictures and she sent a video but then she broke down and said that one of them had died which one I still don't know I asked her specifically which one of them was the one that died and she wouldn't tell me and or she wouldn't reply to me so I don't know if she if she feels so bad because I don't know if this was a special little boy to me or what it was or maybe she just doesn't want to talk about it which is a hundred percent her right and I'm not saying that she should uh, I even said it in the last message I sent her I said well you know thank you for getting back to me you don't really have to you don't owe me anything and so I appreciate you being honest with me and telling me this thing so I don't feel and I didn't say this to her but in the end I just didn't want to feel like I was losing my mind because I felt like I was losing my mind. So anyways, she mentions that they were just fine. They were playing, they were happy, they were eating, they were drinking. And then the next morning when she went to go feed, she found this one baby goat. That she didn't tell me which one. But she said that he was um, dead. Or pretty much gone by the time she found him um, he had some stuff coming out of his nose and he had a poopy butt uh, with something his poop stuck to his butt which could have been because he passed uh, or it could have been for something different that I'm gonna share with you which is my theory of what happened long story short she's devastated and she's telling me that she doesn't even know how to tell me this that I trusted her with the three of them that you know despite me being so attached to this one particular baby goat I was able to let them go to the same house it was just she felt so horrible 
and I can't even imagine maybe uh, she didn't feel comfortable telling me the whole thing but then after sending the pictures and the videos and everything she just kind of realized I just have to say something and she told me no. that. No. What happened to this baby goat? How did it die? Now, if I'm going by the information that she is giving me, um, that he had um, a poopy butt and poop stuck in his butt and uh, some discharge on the nose, there could have been two different things. Number one, he could have choked on something. I don't think I mentioned it in the channel because, I don't know, I kind of forgot, but some a couple weeks ago maybe I was feeding the little boys Mocha's little boys some alfalfa pellets and grain I kind of mix it to help them grow a little bit more even though they're on their mom and they have access to milk and everything they're still eating hay but I still want them to eat something to help them with the weight gain so anyways I was giving them this feed and then what happened is that, uh, well, it wasn't me. I was putting water over there, was getting water for them. And then my daughter was the one feeding them. And my son was around just talking to the baby goats and stuff. And then all of a sudden one of them, which is the one that we call Mushroom, the very first one that was born of Mocha's boys, he um, started foaming in the mouth, having some discharge on the nose, and he was trying to poop at the same time. It was like, it was kind of trying to relieve pressure from um, not being able to breathe, we quickly realized. My daughter gave it to my son, my son <laughs> brought it to me and between my husband and my son they were able to put some water to soften the pellet that was stuck in his throat. So he was choking and he could have died if we were not there. So it, that's one possibility, he could have choked and died. And the other thing, I don't know if she checked inside her mouth, this happened. And interestingly enough, it happened the day before I contacted her. So that could have been one option. And the other option is that he was um, not drinking. So he got dehydrated and that's why he had that all that poop stuck in his butt. Because when they are dehydrated, they... Um, they basically their poop it stops being berry like and it sticks together and it's not like they're sticking together when they are like maybe stressed or something like that it's really really hard and you can totally tell that it's you know dehydrated baby goat poop um, you'd be able to tell so long story short I think that those are the two possibilities that is what I think could have happened if he was in fact not sick the day before now it would have had to and, and again it could have been that he wasn't feeling well and that's why he wasn't drinking any water those are the two possible things now if she would have noticed something different if she would have noticed any kind of symptoms if he was running a fever now there's um there's a chart i follow every time one of the goats is sick and it's called a goat assessment and basically it tells you exactly what you need to check because if the temperature is too high then they likely have an infection if the temperature is low you know it kind of tells you all the possibilities and that is a great resource and i always try to share it with every single person i know that keep goats that's what you do when you see that somebody is sick these are the first things that you check, assess, write down, and then go from there to try to find out what really is wrong with your goat. So, according to what she said, um, nothing really makes sense to me other than the accident, choking, or him not feeling well, maybe being a little bit more chill. And if it was Mr. Black, he was always, always, always you know, laying down and being sweet and getting pets. You remember this little guy. I'll probably put a few clips of him uh, for those of you that are new to the channel. But he was always, he had a very calm demeanor. So it could have been passed as calm. And maybe he was in fact, you know, working on something or sick with something. So I really don't know what could have happened. Uh, those are the two options that I see possible. 
and again the dehydration could have been because he was already sick with something that was not noticeable to the new owner so um, you know goats as I was telling her in my message go down very quickly so the minute that you notice something is the minute that you have to do something about it uh, and, and it comes from a place of love that I'm saying this I am not trying to come off as oh nothing happens to me no it really does um, I had the little boy that ripped half of his face down into his eye I have another um, I have one two three at least three goats that have diarrhea right now and it's because of all the greens that are around I mean I'm able to assess and figure out what happened when I am on top of them and being on top of your goat doesn't mean you have to spend all day with them it means that you have a routine in the morning and at night and that where you can judge and you can see behaviors you know is this goat the one that is first one to the grain is this the first goat that is always ready to go in is she crying is she laying down is he separating himself is he walking really slow is he hunched up those are the things that you know the difference when you see it now again this is not to say that you know that couldn't happen to that baby goat while he was living here it could have to totally happened and I am not by any means trying to shame this person that bought the baby goats but when I was talking in the messages with some of you guys who became really good friends um, you guys have been asking for pictures if I have any updates on them and to be honest if you were with me since Clara delivered those quads you kind of know the the attachment that I had to those boys now if I had hundreds of acres or even 50 acres I would totally keep them you know I would be able to assess which ones I would like to keep and which ones I think they're good to go somewhere else um, right now I'm having that debate and um, honestly after what happened I think it's I think it's leaning towards keeping one of Mocha's boys not because I need to breed him but because of his demeanor he's I, d I don't know how to explain it but he reminds me a lot of Mr. Black and it's the one that is mostly black from Mocha we call him Toad uh, my daughter named him that <laughs> but he is Mr. Black 2.0 like he is the sweetest little thing he follows me everywhere he waits by the gate every time I go he cries to go inside in the kitchen and play and do things with us inside I give him shots and he puts this stupid little sweet face like he doesn't hate me so to be honest i am kind of rethinking the structures that we're gonna build the different pens that we're gonna build and honestly i am just trying to figure out a way on how i can keep some of them until i find the perfect person that wants to keep them as pets that has the time to really devote to these little sweet souls that i just can't you know Moga's babies, they're all very sweet, but one that it's been with the bugs um, That's been kind of a mean Mean goat and he's starting to change. That's why I separated him from his mom. That's why I'm bottle feeding him That's why I am devoting a lot of time to him because I want to make him human friendly He doesn't have to be the sweetest. He doesn't have to be our you know sweet blood boy but he has to be nice and that's what I've been working on and this far it's been a week um, actually it was a week yesterday and he is doing so much better like so much better I mean I have footage of him making me run around the entire pan just going through uh, really a lot to kind of catch him so anyways uh, Long story short, I don't know if it's Mr. Black. I really don't know. I asked specifically in my um, second to last message, I asked, is it Mr. Black? Or baby, as she called him. Uh, because he really was so sweet. It was like a baby. But she didn't get back to me. Uh, she was starting to write. I could see that she was writing. She was writing for a really long time. And then all of a sudden, nothing. So. 
That's why I didn't want to ask her for social media or anything. Not that she owed me anything again, but I just want to keep the buyers private because of that reason. Sometimes things work out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, my one condition is every time I sell a baby goat is if they ever think that goats is not for them, that they consider me first before they, they decide to rehome any of their pets. Um, I just, I, I feel strongly about that at this point and again things can happen and I can totally change my mind in the future but right now, you know, I tried to do that so if there was a buyer that took a baby goat and then all of a sudden said, you know what, I don't think goats, pet goats are for me, I will totally take them back. So I really have this feeling in my heart and in it's so dumb but I really have this feeling that if it was Mr. Black that he came to visit or that he you know came back somewhat or somehow to the farm before you know going away I just I truly believe that um, and if it wasn't him maybe you know I had this intuition that something was wrong maybe I had this feeling that something was wrong and that's why that was constantly in my mind and coming in my nightmares and during the day and uh, so uh, in the videos that I saw and the pictures they were all there they were smaller uh, and the only way that I can say that I'm able to tell that they were smaller than what they should look like right now It's because of Athene, the girl that we kept from Clara and their sister. I, I mean, she, she was twice the size of those boys in that video. So I knew that that was probably, you know, maybe some time ago. And even though weathers do not grow typically as big as bucks, um, they were still too little compared to what Athena looks and um, yeah, just you know in the video they look very very happy and I'm sure that she you know loved them very much she said that you know she felt like they, they were her kids and I'm sure that it hurts to lose one of them in fact she was looking for another one she was looking for another baby girl so I'm sure that it hurts her and everything so please don't take this like I'm shaming her or anything like that but I guess what I'm trying to do is be honest with the possibilities that things can happen kind of share with you my weird super weird connection I have with my animals and with animals in general and how sometimes they can come in dreams or it can come in other things and I don't know why I have this. I have no idea why I have this, but you know, it kind of changed my plans. Um, I'm gonna stay in. I mean, in in our property uh, for today. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna work in the garden. I'm gonna keep busy, and I'm gonna try to keep my mind off of what happened. And that's why. I'm leaning towards keeping Toad because you guys haven't been able to relate to this four boys, Mocha's boys, because I've been so busy. I haven't been able to pick up a camera and spend as much time as I want while I, you know, filming while I'm taking care of the goats. I, I haven't. It's been go, 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 go. And it shows because, you know, I had that little boy who's been kind of crazy and now I had to put him in the back pen. Uh, now I need to bottle feed him. Um, I've been chasing him around the pen. It's just, it shows when you don't spend the time that you should to make them more friendly. So, again, it's my fault that you guys didn't get to know this voice and I'm gonna make a point to um, do show you a lot about them and especially about um, 
mocha's babies i think that that little black boy when you see him how sweet he is the things that he does how he follows me everywhere <laughs> the little sad cry that he has specifically for me um, i think you're gonna fall in love with him and i'm pretty sure you are probably gonna want him to stay around <sighs> so then the other boys are sweet, like the first one born, the one that was choking, Mushroom, we call him Mushroom because of his curly hair, uh, he's the sweetest little thing too. He's not the same personality as Toad, but he's the sweetest little thing. He waits every single night for me to put him inside the kennel with his brothers to separate from mom. We're gonna be doing something different this week because we're getting a new animal um, on the farm and it's a very neat animal on the farm so anyways um, things are gonna change but um, they are very very sweet and they all have their different personalities the one silver that it's here that has a little bit more of cream he is we call him Geralt I don't know if you watch The Witcher on Netflix but my kids love that show and you know Geralt that has well if you ever watch that show you know that Geralt has white hair it's based on a video game or something but basically he is a witcher and he kills monsters in this series and he has white hair so when my son saw him he's like oh he looks like a Geralt and I thought well we can call him Geralt <laughs> so, so Geralt is the sweetest little boy he is so so stinking sweet but he is out of the three that are still with Moga he's the most playful so he's the one that is always trying to play with Annabelle's little kids who are, oh my gosh, they're so hyper. You should see them. They're running around the pen 24 seven. They don't stop, they don't stop, they don't stop, they don't stop. And they make you dizzy. Um, at least the ones that I call the twins, the little boy and the brown little girl from Annabelle, those, I call them the twins because they're always together, they're always getting in trouble together, they're always escaping together, they're always sleeping together. Those two, oh my gosh, my daughter was telling me, are we gonna have to sell this little girl so she can stay with her brother? But that wouldn't be a good thing either because, you know, the pregnancy with brothers and that kind of thing, so. Anyways, I think I updated you on what's been happening around the farm. I promise I'll have more videos with the baby goats and showing you a little bit more about their personalities, sharing with you what they do, why I feel like Toad is this sweet special boy that I really can't part with him right now, unless, you know, somebody uh, was super special, I'm looking for a pet that I will love him every single day, then that's probably the only way that I would let him go. But I feel like if he was in a situation where he was a weather staying with bugs, I think he would be pretty much um, bullied and that he'd suffer a lot because he's so very used to people and he loves people. And I think that if he was going to be a companion, unless it was one of his brothers, I don't think he'd be happy. So. is a problem I'm having right now. Uh, so anyways, thank you so much for being here. If you're new around here, please remember to subscribe. Leave a comment down below by leaving a comment or you put it an emoji or doing something. You're helping with the algorithm and that way the video can be shared with even more people on YouTube. So thanks again and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Take me anywhere that you As long as the stars are shining above us, then I just wanna be with you. Shines upon us And I just wanna be with you